Hey, and welcome back to my channel. Make sure you click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can always receive alerts when I upload new videos and live streams and give me a thumbs up at the end of the video. Hey Planner Fam, it's your girl Chakisha of Her Lovely Plan and I wanted to come and do a DIY. So as most of you all know that I am using a TN for 2019 and if you saw my live, I showed you some of these notebooks that I got that had the brown kind of paper cover on there so because I want to zhuzh it up some and because I will be getting baby yes I call my TN baby I'll be giving getting her different TN covers so I want to have like a variety of colors that will match each one of my TNs um, so I found these amazing folders from Big Lots and basically um, they already have pockets um, I'm gonna kind of just freestyle it so as I do this video we're gonna kind of see what I create I want it to be a surprise in the process so if you want to see me make the covers for my TN inserts stick around <laughs> So if you purchase your inserts already printed, they're going to have covers on them. Um, most of the time they'll be staples, so it'll be easy to remove as you see me doing here. Um, but other times they may be sewn in uh, by hand or by a sewing machine. So you do have to be careful when you're trying to cut the um, inserts that have been sewn up um, because you don't want to damage the inserts. So all I'm gonna do now is just use the cover as my guide while I cut out and get to work. piece is the piece that I was cutting out before I started rounding the corners and this was a really cool tip that I got from Planning Wood by Ellie um, and this is just to seal the open end of your pocket and as well it leaves a little groove so your paper won't get stuck um, when you're sticking things in the pocket um, so all I'm doing is just taking some permanent double-sided tape so I can make sure that the pocket is secure and it won't come loose Oh, 
to do now is to staple my cover onto my inserts and do not judge that is a clean towel but I don't want to use a perfectly good towel um, when doing my craft so this is my all-purpose crafting towel um, so what I'm doing now I just opened up my stapler because I don't have a long arm staple and the washcloth that I have folded kind of um, keeps the staples from closing because um, once I staple them, I can go ahead and fold over the ends um, and secure the cover onto the inserts. stickers to cover up the barcodes um, that were on the back side of the folder that I used um, again this was a folder so it already had its branding and barcode things on there that were permanent so I couldn't remove them um, but it's nothing that a sticker can't hide and even make look prettier um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add these stickers and then get to the next cover
I'm not going to do a voiceover for this cover because um, it's pretty much the same. Um, but I'm just going to do the pocket a little bit different. Instead of having um, horizontal pockets, I'm going to have the vertical pocket on the side for this one. and it was really easy um, this is the first time that I made them um, but from watching a lot of YouTube videos I've just been real inspired to personalize my TN for 2019 and since these folders kind of already had you know certain things on them I had to hide like the barcodes and stuff like that with stickers but the good thing about it is it gave it a little bit of extra character or personality um, so this one right here is a two pocket one and you already saw what I did but just to kind of show you up close and personal why I did that little half piece is because it leaves room for you to put paper without blocking that whole folder off and it's just this one I didn't have to do it just simply because it already had the divider in there so I got pockets that I can use this and I did my corner rounders um, now this one I did measure it a little bit short however if I wouldn't say anything, you probably wouldn't know. Um, so this one I wanted to do um, different from this one. So I did the whole pocket on the inside. And again, 
you can't really see, but I did the whole little securing of the um, pocket with another piece from the folder. And again, just added some stickers to have the um, barcodes, but to give it some personality. And this pocket, I mean, it's just not really, I don't know how often I'll be using it, but I just thought it'll be something different and also to give it a more decorative inside. But I can slide anything in here and still easily to get it out without tearing it. And I use the permanent tape runner. So this, not unless I'm really tough with it, is not gonna come apart. So just to show you how I reassemble it, because this, these two inserts, I shared one string because this is only a four string planner. And I can either still use this for, um, as I was showing you in the video, this is a reusable cover that I made and I can still use it if I want to, but I'm gonna go ahead and just sit this to the side just because I want to highlight my new covers. Now this is the weekly one, so that's gonna go behind this. So basically all you do is get a large rubber band or a jump band um, and you find the middle of each one of your inserts. And then you just take your jump band. And this one is a little loose, but it's better than what I did have. What I did have, they were like, it's on the struggle bus. They were popping, but this is temporary, of course, until I get something a little more neutral, but it still kind of matches because this has the pink and this has the gold. So as you can see, it almost makes it like it's one insert, but it's really not because it has the jump band in the middle or the large rubber band. Let me just make sure it's all lined up here. And so what you do and see it's nice and secure find your other string and you just slide it in like this and it's almost like you added a whole nother string to your planner so I actually have six inserts in my planner now and she is rather chunky but I love a chunky planner y'all already know that from my mini planner from 2018 I'm just gonna take this out just so you can see. And the good thing about the elastics, they just go right around. So it doesn't matter if it doesn't close all the way up. See, nice and neat. So yeah, so these are my covers that I made. I'm super happy, my first time making them and Anytime you can add additional pockets to your TN, it's always a bonus because you can always use your scraps. A lot of times people use their scraps just for decoration when they put it like in their pockets. Um, you know, that's the one thing that I kind of drew me to the TN because you can kind of use your scraps as deco. So I hope you enjoyed that quick DIY and I hope it has inspired you to go ahead and customize and personalize your TN for 2019. So until next time, Planner Fam, peace.